Gavin Newsom's Blue Choice Prize. Education, 41st in the nation. Gasoline, highest in the nation. Sales tax, highest in the nation. Income tax, highest in the nation. Homeless, highest in the nation. Oh, and one of the first states in the nation, PM Cash Sale. With his appalling record, Gavin Newsom couldn't get a busboard job at the French Laundry restaurant. It's time for a change. Because we're turning Gavin Newsom's lock up again and again and expecting different results is the definition of insanity. In this most critical election, your vote for Larry Elder will help make that monumental change. Bring California back to its deserved glory and take its rightful place at the head of the class. Electelder.com and paid for by Elder for Governor 2021. As a legal separation, which happened a while ago, did the court determine that you paid for any amount of money? No. Income wise, uh, did she make approximately what you did or a lot less or more? No. Far as a matter of fact, if she made substantial more, you can go for thousands of dollars. You know, I thought about that, but I don't know what that is. Okay, well, uh, but in, in uh, I don't know, like two hours, but you're, you're going to be fine. She's not going to get it out. Handle on the law tomorrow morning at 8 on KFI. Mullet Finley and Cox. If you're injured and need a lawyer, go to him. The Is this Green Day? No, uh, Weezer. Weezer. This is a good one. Weezer. Where I come from. Oh, yeah, I know this song. Crank it up. The feeling is the beat of trap. My fashion sense is a little whack. And my friends are just as green as me. I really go to school. Hey, now. That's absolutely true. Um, what about the Ladies Night? Um, yeah. Oh, Angel does it. Angel, you don't find them? I'm back over Weezer. Mmm, I don't know what that means. Yeah. Why does it have to be either or? Well, um, that's my preference. Alright, that's cool. Um, who would you make, um, like if somebody ordered sandals, who would you spend more time making for Weezer or Beth? Um, either one. <laughs> <laughs> I love when it gets into a professional life because I get really screwed the same. <laughs> I was my ass off. All right, so the traffic going into Dodger Stadium is still hell. Yeah, it's still pretty bad, uh, especially along the 5 freeway. So, like, all the way out of Burbank, so 101 is pretty jammed away from Sunset Boulevard, and that's the southbound side. And then the 10 eastbound, a lot of people coming in from the west side to uh, head to this show, and oh, it's loaded yeah. all the way from Cloverfield. She totally went into the traffic yeah. voice there. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. like a report the way she was reading. Yeah, we're having fun yeah, there. Really? And then she put that, that traffic hat <laughs> on. Um, but I, I think there's a, I think you're right. I think a lot of people, most from Cloverfield, that's got to be 45 minutes after an hour. Hey, please. I mean, believe it on the time it's going to take to uh, make your way across that mm. stretch. And then I imagine the 10 westbound from, I don't know, from like the 605 or the 5 northbound from the 605 is also jammed. A lot of people like Green Day, Fall Out Boy, and Weezer. Isn't it, it, wasn't it the guy that does the, I'm the Weezer? All the shore. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, he's in my dream. Yeah. I'm the freezer. You remember? He's a freezer, right? Sorry. Yeah. I don't remember. Do you remember I'm the freezer? I really don't. Do you remember I'm the freezer? No, I'm the freezer. Yeah, he's got it right there. Polly Shore was great. Yeah, I like Polly Shore. I just don't remember. Do you remember that at all? I don't remember. What do you remember? I don't remember. What do you remember from Polly Shore? It's not bad. Not much. It's just a hot dog. Hot dog. Did he do it in the army? Wasn't he in the movie called In the Army or something like that? Well, what do you know about Paulie Shore? Uh, he did stand-up, right. and that his, uh, his mom, mom owned a comedy club. 
You need, you're going to need medical care potentially, right? Hopefully not, but you might. And you got to get your car back up on its tire. Right? You got to get that thing rolling around again. Or get a new car. And you need money just in case you can't pay any of your bills. Mortgage, rent, car payment, you know, school, uh, loans, whatever. Right? So phone up. Tweet James right away for free consultation. There's somebody there all the time. 800 500 5200. 800 500 5200. Or the website, sweetjames.com. <laughs> So, run in front of me again, you took your used car to a Toyota dealer and they bought it. Yep. And, and it wasn't a trade-in for a new Toyota? Nope. They paid you on the spot. That's dollar, baby! You done that! And it wasn't even a Toyota. Really? Hey, where are you going? Where are you staying? Turn your used car into cash at your Toyota dealer. Any make, any model. We make it easy. New vehicles are arriving daily at your Toyota dealer with more on the way. That makes now the perfect time to take advantage of Toyota's national sales event. There are great deals on Silas Camry, 40 RAV4, even on rugged Tacomas. So whatever kind of vehicle you're looking for, a hybrid, truck, or SUV, Toyota's national sales event is where you want to be. We make it easy on you. Toyota, let's go places. Attention homeowners, Interactive Mortgage has dropped rates again to a rock bottom 1.75% weight in APR. Yes, it's incredible, a rock bottom 1.75%. And if that's not enough, Interactive Mortgage will even pay your title, escrow, and appraisal fee. That's right, no points and no fee. Absolutely zero, zilch, none. So what are you waiting for? Call now and take advantage of these never before offered rates. A 1.75% weight in APR with no fees whatsoever. Call Interactive Mortgage now at 844-371-CASH. That's 844-371-CASH. 844-371-2274. Or visit InteractiveMortgage.com. Link one corporation, DBA, Interactive Mortgage, equal housing left, terms and conditions of law. New clients own up $350,000 to $548,260. Minimum FICO of seven and maximum LTV of 50%. All loans subject to underwriting approval and not all applicants will qualify. Loans may or arrange for the California finance law license number 603 f 93 in the last number 302 KFI AM 640. Hi, Hart Radio Station. 24 hour news. More stimulating talk. All right, KFI AM 640, Conway Show. We have a, a brand new reporter welcome to the KFI. Well, I guess we've been on KFI for a while, but you haven't been on with us yet, right? I've been here for about a week, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, Blake Crawley, right? Yeah. And where are you from? I'm from Claremont. Okay. Yeah. okay, welcome to uh, the Burbank. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. You know, it's cool to be on the show. I used to listen to this show. Wow! Kind of, is that right? Yeah, yeah. kind of come home because in Oregon, you can pick this station up at night. When I was walking oh, yeah. up there, I would listen to your show driving home. Oh, like, that's wild, dude. For some reason, traffic reports for right. LA are really exciting when you're in Portland. <laughs> trying to go home. You know, uh, my wife is from uh, Portland, um, but northwest, you're uh, Scappoose, uh, yeah. St. Helens area. Right on the yeah. Columbia. Yeah, right on the Columbia, right. That's where she's from. And so when I used to work up in Seattle, um, uh, I, for some reason, oh, no, here's what I was. I would work there five days a week when my wife would live up there. And I would fly to Seattle on a Friday night after the show. I'd go to L.A., I'd fly to Seattle. And then I would listen to Coast to Coast from Seattle to Portland while I'm driving as if it was a local station. Yeah. It's incredible how it came in clearer than from the local station. Yeah. It is really cool how far this station reaches that night. I think I, I think I met a guy that listened to this station in Montana. Like, he looked yeah. at a street spot and he was able to pick it up. Yeah, we get people occasionally calling us in, like, uh, Colorado or Oklahoma. And if they're in the right place, they can hear it on their car radio. I heard it in Kansas once. Is so that right? Yeah, at night. Right. Right, yeah, during the day, you know, there's too many stations on, and everything's, every, everything's a blast of 50,000 watts. And the AM wave travels further at night anyway. 
Is that right? I think the atmosphere is lower and the AM waves uh, to, uh, to bounce in you know, a uh, shorter distance toward those folks. Wow. Uh, how's your new podcast, uh, Ham Radio? Are you still doing that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's great. So you, you're from Portland? No, from Claremont. So oh, that's you spent time in Portland. But yeah, so I came here from Portland. That was the last time oh, I was here. Yeah, I see. What state you work for? Uh, 101? Yes, Tacta. Oh, I was uh, with Lars Larson. Yeah, I like that too. Uh, I went to dinner with Lars Larson. He's a, a conservative by uh, uh, talk show host up in, in uh, Portland. And I met him through, you know, mutual friends. And I went to dinner with him once at Ruth Chris Steakhouse in Portland. That guy couldn't buy himself anything. People were jumping over each other. Hey, you know, they, they, they all knew who he was. They were all excited to see him. And he's like a huge celebrity. Yeah. Him. And he's one of those guys, too. He's very, his look is very, you would notice him because he looks like a TV guy. Right. He, he's, he's almost too good looking for this. That's right. Yeah. Great. Right. Right. That's exactly right. Um, and, but he's, uh, he's great. Anyway, welcome back from Portland. Thank right. you. How long are you up in Portland? Uh, only about two years. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, it's great. And when I, and, and the only reason I'm talking about this is because I mean, there's a lot of people from Portland here and a lot of people from California will be moving or already have moved to uh, Portland. So when I first started going there back in 1997, I, I was listening to, it wasn't uh, 101 back then, it was 7.50 a.m. And I was listening to a news talk radio station up there and they would literally say on the band field, there's a four minute delay. And I'm like, wait, they're recording four minutes late uh, on the freeway? And, and they did for a couple of years. And now it's two hours. Yeah. Right. Now the traffic in Portland sometimes is worse than L.A. Yeah. It's horrible. It took me one week of living in back here to realize that my 40 minute, my 40 minute Friday, <laughs> <laughs> it took me 40 minutes to go, I don't know, 20, it was like, it was still a good distance too, like 20 miles. Where'd you live in Portland? Uh, Lake Oswego. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that yeah. was nice. I was in the apartment that all the rich people were probably mad existed. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it's beautiful down there though. Yeah. Really great. Um, all right, so we're talking about homeless here in Los Angeles. Uh, you're on that case. There's a, a law that took took it back today that really limits where they can set campsites. Yeah, exactly. Um, so basically, largely today, if you, you, know, if you want to look at what goes into effect today, it's basically the fact that mo- largely it's illegal as of today to camp on most you know, sidewalks throughout the LA area. So that's, in a nutshell, probably the simplest way to put it. There's some other nuances to it, like loading docks in front of business stores, right. things of that nature. And so uh, I, I think the re- I think it passed, I think only two council members voted against it. And yeah. Bonham was one of them, and I'm not sure the other guy was. Yeah, I think it, it got very minor pushback, and essentially the pushback was, well, if we're going to you know, establish this rule, where are they going to go? That was right. kind of a big pushback thing. Yeah, and I saw today that, uh, that they have, there's enough rooms or enough space to put homeless in a, in a hotel room or a you know, uh, temporary apartment, but only for 39% of that oh, number. Yeah, I saw that number as well today. So that's been part of the pushback. And then as well, <laughs> it's, it's kind of interesting, this pushback on, but it's not from the same team. There's also this other side saying, well, how are you going to actually right. enforce this? this? This doesn't seem like something that's actually going to be enforced. Oh, so I have a good idea, though, and they're not going to enforce it because I think it's, you know, it's too uh, crazy. But if you're out here, you know, from Michigan or, you know, Florida, North Carolina, whatever, you got to go back, right? If you're homeless and you're out here, you got to go back. We have too many homeless people out here and we can't afford you. Or can we send Michigan the bill, North Carolina, Florida, Texas, they get the bill for how many homeless people out here. Because people heard that we are raising billions of dollars in taxes for homeless and they all came out here. Every one of them. We have, I think, 135,000 homeless people statewide. I think that number is doubled when you talk about people living in their cars or people who are, you know, uh, can't afford rent and, you know, are just getting by. I think it's, it, I bet it's 10 times that. When you look at that number, one thing that definitely comes to mind is the fact that even, the, you know, I talked to one council member on it today and he was in support of it, but, you know, he, he, he mentioned this is not the fix-all solution. This is just a step. This is just one step right. in that direction. But it's not being enforced yet. Right now, they're, from what I've been told, you know, I'm being told by council members, they're kind of in the educational phase of it all. In fact, I, you know, said this off the air. I went to a homeless uh, encampment today trying to talk to people there, say, hey, you know, what are you being told today? What is the status today? But of course, of course I wasn't able to talk to anybody, but I could say that, you know, the camp is still there. It didn't look like there was, you know, anybody there telling them to leave, anything like that. Right. And how come you couldn't talk to them? They didn't want to talk to you? Um, there was a situation where, yeah, one of, 
couple of them, well, one of them didn't want to talk to me, and then other than that, um, everybody was inside, you know, inside their tent or oh, whatever they were looking, living in. Yeah, it's nice. one of those situations. Uh, so it wasn't a lot of people outside looking for gigs and, you know, um, uh, visiting kids and stuff like that. I yeah, I, well, I was looking at that. I, I couldn't get a, uh, I, I definitely could not get a, uh, an interview on it. Which homeless camp did you go to? I was in Toluca Lake. Oh, it's a nice one. <laughs> it seems like it's a nice area, though. Right? I mean, like, if you said you lived in Toluca Lake, you'd go, wow, you made it. Do you think the people in, who, are, who are living in the in Toluca Lake camp look down on the people that are living in the Canova camp? I bet that happens, right? The guy's like, you know, I got I got two shopping carts in Toluca Lake. Uh, you've got, you know, nothing in Canoga. Uh, and I bet they look, they, you know, they look down over their nose on the Canoga homeless. Hey, yeah, it's gotta happen, right? So if a guy's got, a, you know, two carts, the other guy's got one, he's like, hey, look at him. You know, not you, but me. But I think, I think there's a upper echelon. I saw, I drove by Walmart in Burbank the other day, and there was a guy laying on the lawn in, in Burbank. He's laying on the lawn, and, and, I, and as I got closer, the sun was going down, it was on Saturday or Sunday night, and as I got closer, I could see he's not laying by himself. He's got a girlfriend, and he's on top of her, and they're making out. Right? I'm like, that guy's got a girl? That guy's got a girl. Right? That guy's hooked up. Right? I mean, if you're single, and you're driving by, and you're like, you know, you're like, oh man, she didn't call me back. You're checking your, you know, your text. You're checking your voicemail. If that's what it is. You're checking Facebook. And this, this girl that you asked out is not calling you back. And then you look over and see this guy hunting this, this you know, this, this uh, you know, young guy, uh, lady, right? Uh, over on the side, you're probably like, that could really set you off. <laughs> it's crazy. But that guy's got it going on, and you know, that's great. Like I said, somebody's talking about it. But I wonder how she picked him. Right? Because it's got to be an upper echelon of homeless. Right? Like, I mean, she's still got to be picky, even though, you know, she's homeless. She's not going to just go to any, you know, idiot. Right? So she's, that's probably the better, uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know what makes that guy better than the other guy. Right? Something. Right? Because she's with them. Right? They seem to be having a good time. They were laughing. They were drinking. They were enjoying themselves. Why don't they, uh, and they were so centrally located and so close to Walmart that they ran out of anything they could just go inside. They can go right into Walmart and do whatever they want. Clearly, there is some chemistry. That's right. Absolutely. And I, I, I wonder, like, as I drive by there, because I live near the Walmart in Burbank, I wonder if they're going to progress. Like, if they're going to be an item, or is he going to say, will you marry me? And are they going to get a, uh, you know, a tent together? Whatever it is. You know, I don't know what it is. Something's going on there. Those two. Oh, sorry. Well, where are they going to register if they get married? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, right? Um, uh, the, I don't know, Walmart, 99, I don't know, I don't know, where you register, right? That's a great, great question. So the big problem, right? Where are you register? What's your wedding with? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Blake Crowley, how did you get a hold of you on social media? Yeah, so uh, Twitter, Blake Crowley, KFI. P-R-O-L-I. Yeah. All right, Blake Crowley. Welcome to KFI, man. Thank you. All right, then enjoy yourself. Thank you. All right, don't let Chris Little get down on you with, with any nitpicks over dumb stuff. <laughs> <laughs> <Right? laughs> no comment. All right, well, I'm not clear if I'm one of the closures. Police are involved in a human trafficking suspect as a result of the crash killing the driver of an uninvolved truck in Koreatown. The fire burning near Lake Tahoe has apparently calmed it down significantly as firefighters take advantage of better weather. And you can the official say Tyler should be back on for all of New Orleans by mid next week. Check on the five. <laughs> All right, uh, let me talk to you about, of course, CB Distillery. CB Distillery, man, they are the best, right? My wife is the package. I thought once every other week or so, and a box, a nice little box comes from CB Distillery, and she loves opening it because everything in there makes her feel better. And I think so, right? Because she does. So everybody does. So it, CBD is great. Now, what would you think if somebody told you that an overwhelming number, uh, number of consumers raved about these products? To help you sleep better, calm their mind, and help with discomfort and fit after physical activity. It's not a farmer product, it's CBD. Very impressive. And CBD Distillery is the leader in America. <laughs> They've been uh -huh. in Quantum Leap with their full spectrum CBD. Over 2 million customers, that's huge. It features all the health benefits with full spectrum CBD. It's convenient, you can take it with you. And you can get it at cbdistillery.com. They're always adding new products. So if, you, if you haven't been there for a while, go check out the new products. 
at stevedistillery.com. stevedistillery.com. Promo code Tim is 25% off. 25% off at stevedistillery.com. Promo code Tim. I'm going to Idaho, Iowa, or Tesla. This is Chris Collinsworth. Here's what's trending on the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings. UCLA football will host number 16 LSU tomorrow night, fresh off a dominant 40 40 10 win over Hawaii last week. The Sparks suffered their fifth straight loss last night, falling to the league 66 57 in their dwelling in last place in the Western Conference. And the Nets are trading center DeAndre Jordan for second round picks and $5.78 billion in cash to the Detroit Pistons for Julia Okafor and Seki Zimboya. I'm Jimmy Hafford. Download the DraftKings app and use code SPORTS to get a free shot at millions of dollars up for grabs this week with your first deposit. Minimum $5 deposit required. You want to play tennis ball today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel tired. Things are too tired. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Westminster traveling towards Beach Boulevard in Huntington Beach. And the Cajon Pass on the 15 northbound. You know, delays are crowding up around Sierra. Slow we moving see. all the way to Kenwood, heavy to the 138. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Angel Martinez. This report is sponsored by the Auto Club of Southern California. Are you paying too much for auto insurance? Go to AAA.com slash insurance for a free quote and find out how much you could save. Find competitive rates on auto insurance through the Auto Club. Visit AAA.com slash insurance today. Have you still not refinanced your mortgage? Well, soon you might miss out on these once-in-a-lifetime rates. So take advantage of our new fast-track loan with an unbelievable low rate of an amazing 2% rate in APR with no closing costs on a 15-year fixed loan. That's right, no points, no fees. Hi, I'm Wesley Hogan with Lennox Financial, a trusted lender for over 20 years. Even if you refinance in the last year, we can still probably save you money. Whether it's a conventional, FHA, or VA loan, you can do them all with no closing costs. This amazing 2% rate and APR loan won't last long. So call today, 844-425-3669. That's 844-425-3669. 844-425-3669. It's the biggest no-brainer in the history of mankind. Licensed by the Department of Business Oversight of the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act. And MLS number 3304. Not all loans apply. Equal housing lender. This is the Monday School Loan Stop Now. Take command of the road in the 2011 Acura MDX. The 2011 MDX features an all-aluminum V6 engine that is both powerful and fuel efficient. Confidence and poise are expressed throughout the exterior. A confident footprint is created via the 18-inch alloy wheels. The seven-passenger MDX has doors that open wide for easy entry and exit. 
The power tailgate opens with the touch of a button. Acura sought the perfect combination of luxury, comfort, and safety in designing the interior. It includes leather upholstery, power front seats, XM radio, optional rear entertainment system, and seat memory. With split folding second and third row seats, the MDX offers a wide variety of passenger and cargo combinations. The available Acura navigation system features a new display and voice recognition system with continuously updated traffic and weather information. Acura also prioritized safety and security by including head curtain airbags, anti-whiplash front head restraints, and four-wheel disc brakes with ABS. The super handling all-wheel drive technology enhances cornering and maneuverability. The rear view camera activates when you engage reverse gear to assist when parking. The 2011 Acura MDX. Well-equipped and fully capable, this could be the right fit Aha, uh -huh, ten. Today I opened all the windows. 